are doing the underbody inspection of the 1991 Datsun 4x4. This vehicle, this particular vehicle, made its way all the way from Japan. It was a utility truck, utility vehicle, for the fire department in the small town uh, somewhere in Japan. And this truck has no pumps, it has no fire equipment, it has a utility body, and it was used to transport hoses. It has the slide-in uh, ramp mechanism to uh, set up like a generator or a portable pump, and we'll show how that mechanism works uh, in another video. With this video, we simply want to show you the amazing, truly amazing condition of the underbody. So uh, we're looking again at a 1991 Japanese vehicle. The difference is that this one came and was used in Japan and came from Japan. It has not spent any winters here in New England. And because it didn't, it has absolutely no rust. We're so incredibly impressed with the condition of this vehicle. Starting from the front suspension, I'm gonna walk you through and show you as much as I can and the typical areas that are that simply vanish on uh, local vehicles after five to ten years on this truck there's not a speckle of rust anywhere so the the frame the control arms they show no signs of rust or any issues uh, to do with the rust there are also I'll mention there are absolutely no uh, leaks. The engine uh, looks dry everywhere. We're looking at the uh, cross member torsion bars uh, frame itself. All the f f all the lines, brake lines, metal brake lines, fuel lines, evaporative lines, they're all in incredible condition. There's a little ground cable that looks like brand new. And we continue to do our inspection. Even the exhaust pipes look uh, with very, very little light surface rust, and that's about it. The drive shaft is essentially looks brand new. This is just some dust that cleans right off, as you can see. All the body parts, cabin, incredible, just absolutely incredible. If you want to get a nice utility truck, this is an amazing offering. Look at the backing plates on the brakes, the rear axle. Uh, it is clear that when this vehicle was brand new, it, uh, some kind of a a really good resilient undercoating was applied because it's just impossible that the original frame would be so well preserved. Yeah, we can see some undercoating in uh, different areas. The spare tire, and we're back to the truck body. As you can see, uh, everything is very, very good, very, very solid. It actually came with the canopy. Uh, the body of the truck has an indent on the driver's side, like this cutout that you can put an additional equipment. You can certainly fit a bicycle, maybe even a small motorcycle. You can fit it under 45 and mount it to the frame. Uh, the passenger side truck body is the conventional style. We'll walk around. The, the bed looks incredible, as you can see. Look at all the inner uh, surfaces, no rust. The typical areas where the bed rusts is in like new condition. We should also mention when this vehicle was produced, it was white. When it was brand new, it was refinished, beautiful refinishing job with a commercial uh, red paint. Uh, this was done for the fire department. So 
this vehicle is protected not only with the factory paint, which was white, but also with the commercial red paint, which holds up beautifully. And the quality of this paint job is incredible. Nothing flakes, uh, it's not discolored. The texture of the finish is consistent with factory. Here we're looking at the rocker panels. As you can see, the frame itself looks incredible. Even the wheels, the rims were refinished and they look awesome. Before we lower the vehicle, we will uh, try to have a little closer look at the drivetrain. As you can see, uh, no oil leaks again. I will point this out, no oil leaks. Rear main seal is nice and dry. The clutch is really solid and grabs early on and uh, consistent feel on the brake, uh, on the clutch pedal. I drove this vehicle for a couple days. I enjoyed it. Uh, the CV joint boots in excellent condition. Inners and outers, the vehicle only has under 10,000 miles. And as you can see, here's the alternator. There's just absolutely no signs of oil seepage, not to mention the leakage. There's no...